All right, we have these algebra problems that are set when a transversal cuts our parallel lines. You have these little arrows that are symbols that indicate the two lines are parallel to each other. All right, first off, identify your angles. Are they corresponding? Are they alternating? Are they anterior? Are they exterior? So I've got the 80, I got the 5x. These are corresponding angles. And anytime that you have corresponding angles, you can always set those equal to each other. So corresponding angles set equal to each other. So we can grab the 5x, we can grab the 80, and set them equal to each other. Solve this, we've got 80 divided by 5, x equals 16. Now on this assignment, when we jump these problems out of the book, they don't want you to plug it back in. They just say, hey, just solve for x and call it good which is a little unusual for us because we're always plugging things back in. But we'll work with them today. We'll work with them. All right, so first example, corresponding angles set equal to each other. Solve for x. Let's run another one. All right, let's go a similar setup. Let's go two lines. Let's mark them as parallel. We have our third line, the transversal cuts through there. Let's get an algebra expression here, 3x plus 4. Let's make that angle 140. First thing, identify, classify, what kind of angles do we got? Are they corresponding? Are they consecutive? Are they alternating? Let's see what we got here. Ooh, same side, definitely consecutive. So we have consecutive and they're interior. Consecutive is different. They're not equal to each other. So whenever you have consecutive interior angles, these add to 180. So consecutive angles, definitely going to add those up to 180. So grab your 3x plus 4, grab your 140, and let's add those together, set up to 180. Okay, algebra time. Keep the 3x where he is. Let's subtract the 4, subtract the 140. Uh, what is that? 40 minus 4, 36. So, consecutive angles, boom, add them up to 180. Run some algebra. Looks like we're close on this one. I just got 36 divided by 3. X equals 12. And again, it's a little strange for us on an assignment that we're not plugging that back in. But they just say, hey, solve for X, we solve for X. Let's do one more. All right, last one. What they do on your assignment is they'll draw your lines kind of different directions. So here's some parallel lines, but kind of running a little bit north and west on us. We still have a transversal that's going to run through there. Let's get rolling. All right, 3x minus 12, 2x plus 28. Okay, you've got an angle and you've got another angle. Let's identify what type of angles you got. They're on the interior. Are they consecutive or are they alternating? Definitely alternating. So these are alternating interior angles. And any time that you have alternating interior, we just think, aha, set them equal to each other. Alternating angles, interior, equal to each other. So let's run it. Let's go 3x minus 12, set equal to 2x plus 28. So we've got one angle, set it to the other angle. Let's do a little bit of algebra. So we grab the 2x, get it on one side. Let's subtract it. Let's add the 12. So now you got your x's together. You got your numbers together, like terms together. Oh, look at that, 3x minus 2x. There's x right there. 28 plus 12, that's 40. And just like that, you have solved for x. And again, it's a little strange for us. We're used to plugging back in. But on this little assignment, they say, hey, just solve for x on this one. I'm like, we can do that. All right. Figure out what type of angles you got, 
say, am I going to equal to each other or am I going to set them to add to 180, plug in, self-regs, you're in business.